Good morning, everybody. This is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks Ministry. And today I want to talk about um, the brain and um, hair and how to maintain your health as you try to be stylish. Okay, um, I'm going to share information with you that all leaders should be teaching you. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people in leadership um, dyeing their hair because their hair is turning gray. And, uh, and I just want you to know that uh, hair dyes, all types of colors, tints, whatever it is, rinse, it, whatever. If you put it on your hair, it's going to go down inside of your brain. You have pores on the top of your head and those chemicals go down in your brain and they alter your mind they alter the way that you think and then it travels and the, the chemicals travel into your your body your blood so you must go to God and find out first of all why your hair is turning gray and it's linked to a copper deficiency. Um, when I noticed that I started to have gray hair, I immediately started get, getting uh, copper. And I have it right here, and I'm going to show it to you. And it's a liquid copper. I add it to my smoothies. And um, my hair is turning back black is natural color. So cop um Copper reverses gray hair naturally. It just means that you have a copper deficiency. And when your hair turns gray, that is God sending you a warning that you need to put that mineral back into your body. Um, copper deficiencies are linked to aneurysms, um, all kinds of issues with the arteries okay so you you definitely need to be aware of that you know i know a lot of people have been believing lies for so long you know and um i, I i'm coming with to you with the truth because i don't want anything to happen to you later on down the road so don't forget um to get you some copper uh, liquid copper start adding it adding it back to your um your your health regimen and you can see your hair go back to its natural uh color so that's what i did and um i listened to the warnings of god when i noticed that my body needs something i just give it what it needs um my hairdresser just retwisted um my uh locks and um my hair is basically growing uh two inches a month now you can't tell it now because it's a fresh retwist you know and when you have a fresh retwist that you know the hair shrinks shrinks up but i have a lot of hair you know if you were to untwist my hair my hair would be down the middle of my back so um I just wanted to share that with you because I know a lot of people, especially women, um, when they get, you know, you know, of a certain age, they start to thin, their hair start to thin and they start having, you know, issues uh, with your health. So if you just leave your hair alone and just let it grow naturally on its own, um, you can uh, help your hair maintain uh health and length at the same time but i also know that people who are on medicine it'll mess with you know the hair and the uh how the hair grows and and the thickness of the hair so i am aware um of that as well um why am i sharing this information with you about copper and brain health and and hair health is because i care um, I see a lot of people, um, leaders in the church, you know, they dye their hair to hide the gray, 
But I'm telling you right now, that's not a good example to follow because somewhere the dye that they're putting in their hair is affecting their health. And some of the health issues that they're going through, um, laying your hands over them is not going to help, you know, um, something simple as just stop killing yourself with chemicals on your hair will get to the root cause of health issues going on, um, in the body. So, you know, I'm a realist and I'm also a nurse. So, you know, I deal, I de I deal, I'm sorry, I deal with the human body. So meaning I'm dealing with the body, you know, um, and everything involved with the body. So this is a word um, of just, you know, using, you know, just basic, basic common sense and uh, a, a message of you loving yourself enough to take proper care of it and to ask God how to take proper care of your body. Because if you don't take care of your brain, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to really going to have some, some serious issues. Okay. So instead of putting chemicals and dyes and tints and harmful substances on your hair and speaking uh, he uh, healing scriptures of yourself because that's what people are doing. They're putting dyes on their hair and then they're saying, by stripes, I'm healed, by stripes, I'm healed. How about taking the dye off your hair, get to the root cause of the gray hair, like adding copper and watching your hair turn back. So if you don't like how your hair looks until it turns back to its original color, you can... Put something else on your hair, a wrap, um, a wig, a, um, you know, different hairstyles until you get your, uh, desired, uh, result. I know my hairstylist was telling me, she's like, girl, your hair's turning back black, but that's because I'm putting copper in my, uh, smoothies. I'm putting the nutrients that, that was missing, um, in my body. You know, God lets me know. If I'm missing something in my body or what my body needs. So, you know, and it's not, this is not a message to put anybody down. It's not a message to mistreat anybody. I'm just telling you that a copper deficiency is linked to aneurysms, varicose veins, issues with the arteries. So, I want to hand you information that will be a blessing to you. Now, when I was a little girl, you know, I had no power over how my hair was going to be taken care of. And, you know, my mom and my aunt, my family, you know, they they loved me. I, I know that. And they did the best they could at that time uh, with my hair. But when I became uh, an adult, and I became a nurse, you know, even before I became a nurse. Um, but really, after I became a nurse, the Lord began to really deal with me about the hair, the scalp, the brain, no chemicals on the hair, you know, don't 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 put no perms in your hair, you know, don't don't do that. Don't put uh, any dyes in your hair because that stuff sinks down into your brain. So I have been obedient um, to God in that area. So that means, you know, I had to figure out hairstyles that I was going to do with my hair. You know, I kept my hair braided. Um, I love zillions. I uh, kept my hair in afro. I love my afro. And then I one day I was talking to the Lord and I said, you know, God, I really want to just let my hair grow and, and stop fooling around with it. I don't even want to pick it out anymore with the Afro. I, you know, I don't even want to braid it up anymore. You know, I just want it to grow and I want low maintenance. So the first thing that came to my hair, my mind was, you know, just lock your hair up, lock your hair up and just let it grow. And so that's what I did. Um, I just locked my hair up. My hair has been locked up for 
about 10 months right now. And then um, I just love it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this is a fresh retwist. So, you know, you get the shrinkage with the fresh fresh retwist. But, you know, in a couple of days, it'll start falling and hanging down. And I love my locks. I actually love my locks. I love the way that God created me. And I love my hair. And thank goodness I work at a job where the corporation allows um, cultures to be themselves, you know. And since I am a professional, you know, nurse, I'm in a professional field, I like to keep my locks uh, retwisted um, when I have a lot of, you know, new growth. I don't like that frizzy, wild look that just doesn't look professional for me, not for the area um, in my career. So I keep my locks retwisted, um, when it, you know, I see a lot of new growth, uh, come in. And like I said, my hair is growing on an average of two inches a month, you know? So I have a lot of hair, um, in, inside of my locks, I have a lot of hair. Um, but they'll start hanging more and more and more as time, uh, goes by. And I'm just going to just let them grow all the way down my back as far as they want to grow and just enjoy how God created me. And then have low maintenance with my hair because there's really nothing I really need to do. I just, I wet my hair because it needs moisture. My hair needs moisture. I wet my hair with distilled water or alkaline water. And I put olive oil on it. It's just really low maintenance, you know. And then, you know, it, <clears throat> during the nighttime, you know, it's best to cover up, you know, your locks. I don't put anything thick in my locks. I don't do anything like that because it would be gooky and caked up. And my hairdresser said, don't put anything thick in your hair. Just light oils. So that's all I do. And... Very low maintenance, very low maintenance, and I love it. So I just wanted to share that word on health and uh, uh, nutrition, brain health, copper, how to reverse uh, gray hair, and uh, giving you uh, a thought about how to accentuate your beauty, your natural beauty, without destroying uh, your health. You can look cute and beautiful and be healthy at the same time. This is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks Ministry. God bless you and I want you to have a great day.